Hey guys, it's uh, Trevor again here, and uh, I got a nice headshot off the bat, and let me continue on with my story, and I have a quick one at the end. <laughs> it's like story time, if if we do have enough time. If not, I might make like, you know, a little mini-series, maybe like four episodes of my epic elementary school uh, experiences that were terrifying and some funny, I guess. Anyway. Um, so, after I got rushed to the ER and I got my first, uh, IV shot, la la la, they carried me onto the stretches, I got in the ambulance, the dude asked if I was awake, and I said, uh, yeah, and we get to the hospital, so they roll me in on the stretcher, they roll me up to the elevator, and, <coughs> Excuse me. I remember like five minutes of an awkward silence while we're going up the elevator, and then being in my room. Uh, very unfortunate death right there. And the lady telling me that I had to get another IV shot. <coughs> a lot for uh, a second grader, especially since I've that was. I've only had one other IV shot before, and this was going to be my second, so definitely not too happy about that. I asked my mom if uh, I could just not take it, and she's like, no, honey, you have to take it. So she gets me the IV shot. I almost cried again. And, well, my parents figured out, like, what they were going to do for the rest of the night because they said I couldn't go home. And don't keep, I mean, keep this in mind. I still had pain in my legs and I couldn't walk. So, um, my mom said she would stay overnight and my dad went home to take care of my sister. And so, I kind of pretty much stayed up the whole night. Like, I couldn't fall asleep because of the pain. But So, yeah. And as those, I would say, like, six grueling hours passed by, uh, daylight finally came. I remember my dad coming in with Wawa um, food, some breakfast, and um, my uncle and my sister being there, and my mom just like sitting there sleeping, and they were they were all like fe like feeling sorry for me. They uh, said, "Why don't you try and walk?" So after I ate breakfast, I tried to walk, and I like fell like four times down on my back. And it hurt really bad, but you know, whatever. So I I was taking baby steps, and going as slow as possible, and you know I just couldn't do it. So I told my dad, you know, I I can't do this. I'm I'm done. And he was like, but there's a Star Wars statue outside, and I'm like, oh my god! So. I, I walked in epic, epic, epic slow motion with my baby steps, and soon enough, like 15 minutes later, which was right down the hall, like then to a left, I found the statue. It was a statue of Luke Skywalker, and it was like it was about six feet tall, and I thought it was like the most amazing thing to me. And I just took these people out, and I died. Oh wait, no, I don't die. Oh yeah, this is epic. Anyway, so. That's pretty much how I got to walk again, but I really wasn't done yet because, well, I had completely forgotten my memory of how I walk, so, like, like, I didn't know how, so I had to learn from, like, baby steps all over again, which didn't take long at all, but, you know, whatever, and after that, I went home, and I remember running around in the wheelchair, but when I got home, my teacher came and I acted like I was asleep and she lifted the pillow up and she was like, hey there Trevor, uh, we have some cards for you and like apparently like my whole entire cl class wrote like uh, letters or get well cards to me and that made me feel really good inside actually. I think I still have some. I don't know where they are though. And that was pretty much the story of how I got a virus in my legs that I don't know what it is called. I forget. My doctor knows. My doctor told me before, and I forgot again. It starts with an M, and it is not meningitis. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is. I think it was like M-A-L or something. Like, I forget. Uh, I, I don't want to spend too much time on that. So, I have another story, a quick story, not too much, um, of me in second grade and my first girlfriend. So, 
I asked her out and she was a little, oh yeah, sure. And I almost rage quit her. And so we were going out and I, uh, that weekend I went to the shore and I won her a ring and a bracelet. And so I brought it to school and put her at her desk before class started. And she apparently brought it home and showed it to her mom or something. And her mom thought I stole jewelry from my mom. So, if you didn't understand, her mom thought I stole jewelry from my mom. So, that was the end of our relationship. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed these uh, stories. If you like them, leave a comment and tell me to tell you more stories. I have a few others, just like hang gliding and stuff like that. So, yeah, peace out.